Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain you how to set up Visual Studio Code for C and C++. So many of you students face some problem during the setup of Visual Studio Code. Okay. So just follow as I'm doing in my system. And at the end of this video, your Visual Studio Code setup will be done. Okay. So first go to your browser, which you use and type there, download Visual Studio Code, okay, Visual Studio Code and the first link which you get from, from the visualstudiocode.com, you can click there, okay. So there you will get the options for Windows, Mac and other operating system. So if you are using Windows, just click on there and your installation for the Visual Studio Code will be start. Okay, here you can see it has started. Just wait, wait for some time. Okay. So here you can see our Visual Studio code is downloaded. Now go to folder and just install it. Okay. It will take some time, but yes. Then accept the agreement. Then you have to do next, next, next. You have to check on all, okay, so that it will be easy to use Visual Studio Code, then next and then stall. Wait for some time and the installation will be completed, okay. Okay, here you can see installation is finished. So here you can click on finish, okay. Studio code is installed. Now you can go to your browser again and then just search for download download mingw64. Visual Studio Code. Okay. And just click. And then you will get the first link from the visualstudiocode.com then you have to click on that okay there there you will get the documentation the whole documentation on the following which you will uh, install the setup okay so here you can see first step is visual studio code installation okay which we have done okay the next step is to install this msys2 software okay so just click on that and here you will get the doc another documentation for installing the msys2 software okay so here you can see from here the installation process starts so first you have to download the installer mys msys2 okay so just click on that and after some time it will be installed okay first we have to download download it so here you can see now msys2 software is installed i mean downloaded okay then you have to show it in folder then just click on it okay and uh, install it okay you have to click on next then next then next and it will be installed soon just wait, wait for some time okay after some time, it will be installed. Okay, then you have to click on just finish. And it will start its own command prompt. Okay, like this. Then you have to go on the browser and the documentation of MSYS2 function software. Okay, so here you can see we have done till this finished. Okay, then you have to write this command pacman syu. Okay, and it's a command prompt. So just write pacman syu. Okay, just click enter after that. Then some files will be downloading here. Okay, here you can see minji w32 bit 
minjw64 okay and all the files will be downloaded here okay yes then after it requires your permission that you have to move further or not then you have to click yes why okay then just click enter then it will start some other files downloading just wait for some time and all the files will be downloaded soon okay now you will get the another option where it will require your permission that you have to move further or not then you have to apply yes why okay then click enter okay then it will be end then after you have to search for m s y s okay here in start then you have to start it again and at some time it will start its command prompt okay okay now after this step you have to follow yes this sixth step you have to write this command pacman su okay so just write this pacman s u and just click enter after that then some files will be downloading here okay just wait wait for some time it will require your permission then you have to click yes then enter then it will start downloading some other files here just wait for some time okay then all the files will be downloaded soon so all the files are downloaded here okay from pacman su command then you have to follow this seventh point and you have to write this command pacman s needed base t level okay min gw you have to just copy it okay just copy it and paste it in command prompt of my sys okay and just click enter then it will start some downloading some packages okay okay then you have to click enter here just enter again okay then it will ask your permission yes or not then you have to click y then enter then it will start downloading some other files here just wait for some time okay again it will take time but this the procedure if you follow this procedure then yes your visual studio code will be set up set up will be done definitely okay just follow these steps okay as you can see all the files are downloaded here okay so after the download download of all the files like uh, here you can see you have to close it okay and then after you have to set the path variable okay go in this pc click the right button and go on properties okay first you have to choose the path here okay for that you have to go on library in your this pc yeah your c drive then you have to go this my sys my ms ys 64 okay then you have to find out the minjw64 here you can see minjw64 then you have to find out the bin folder over here okay and then copy this path here copy okay then you have to go here okay from this pc click right go on properties okay then after go on advanced system settings here you can here you have to go on environment variables okay click on here path here you can see many paths are there so you have to click on new to add a new path okay and just paste which you have copied the bin folder okay and then click ok then ok and then ok okay to check that that uh, minjw is in your the system that uh, then you have to then on the command prompt a query min okay cpp version okay okay the spelling is wrong so 
is not going to take it so cpp was shun okay yes it is showing the cpp version then yes it is right okay as a minjw compiler is installed here okay then you have you can check also by c g plus plus okay and check its version and if it is showing like this it is showing the its version like a 10.3.0 then yes your minjw is set up here okay then you have to go you have to make a file here new folder okay like this cpp okay okay let's make a folder name different okay c++ files okay then you have to run it with the help of visual studio code okay open it with the code here when your code is open then you have to run it. click here yes i trust the authors okay then go on this extension okay here extensions then just click c++ okay c++ then you will get the link the first link c and c++ like this you have to install it here okay it will be installing uh, instantaneously okay like this it is installed then you have to write code runner okay code runner the first you get dot run you install it yes you can see it's installed okay then you go on this file pair okay close this extensions here then you have to make one file like this let's make our first function help first program hello world program okay hello world dot cpp extension okay then you have to write like uh, hash include let me make it bigger so that it can be visible to you include io stream okay io stream like this then write using namespace okay using namespace std then like write int main right now just write what i am writing here okay because every keyword will be explained in the video itself so just write here c out hello world okay like this it is a first program you have to run so you can run it with the help of this code runner or you can make a new terminal here okay like this you have to write first g plus plus okay first letter of the your file then write tab okay let's say my first letter is capital h and i have to write tab here okay it will select automatically then you have to write enter okay it will okay it is making the error again let's try just write here okay g plus plus first letter tab then write enter yes now this a dot exe file will made okay then you have to write just a then tab it will select uh, automatically then you have to write enter and here you can see hello world is printed okay so you can see now you can run any code in c++ and your visual studio code is set up okay set up is done here now you can write any code and run so this is the end of this video thank you